guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It's time for Tuesday Talks. Tuesday Talks is a group that I started with my friend Janelle over at Mrs. J. Rod's Reads. Each and every Tuesday we discuss book-related topics, and I will link to that Goodreads group in the description box below. You guys can go check it out. So this week's topic is on favorite pets in books, and I've got five here to share with you guys. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's probably more, and you just don't you just don't think about it um, as you're reading, so you kind of forget about those pets. But anyway, let's get started here. I'm going to go with the first one here, Ghost, which is a white German Shepherd. This is Joe's pet and partner um, in the Joe Ledger series. And Ghost is that pet that Joe can go to and confide in and talk to when days are just bad. Um, that's his confidant. And, you know, our pets love us no matter what we're going through, no matter what we look like or what we're doing. They're always there for that, for us. And Ghost portrays that so well um, in the Joe Letter series. Next one we got here is Church. And Church is a cat in Pet Cemetery. And it's the family cat. He dies. He gets brought back from the Pet Cemetery. And I love him throughout the whole story because he portrays a cat perfectly. Um, I, I just, I, I love him and people probably think I'm crazy even though I loved him afterwards because he kind of is ballistic afterwards and um, he's just, Stephen King's just got a cat pegged really well and I love the way he, he portrayed him. And that's what I'm going to say is Marley and Marley and Me, the, the, the Yellow Lab. I didn't actually read the book. I did watch the movie and this is a good old family dog and it's a dog with attitude and spunk and always happy but getting in trouble and hard to control and then tragedy strikes and it kind of gets you right here um, but it was really a good story and um, I just I think that Marley would be the perfect pet the next one I picked was Old Yeller. This is a children's classic. Um, Old Yeller is again a, a family dog and he is there, he works, he does stuff that the family needs him to do and confidant, you know, friend, all this stuff and again tragedy strikes. He becomes rabid from a bite and you know the story goes on from there. I'll just let you guys read it. I do recommend that. It's a good classic to start with if you're not used to reading classics. And um, it does go pretty good. I just read this book a couple years ago. So um, I definitely recommend that one for a classic. And then the last one I chose is Black Beauty. This was my favorite child story. This is a horse. And... Um, yeah, it's just, it's written beautifully for, for children, and I need to read that book again. I love horses. I love Black Beauty. Um, it's just really told well, and I just, it, I think that's probably the first time I ever really wanted to have a horse, <laughs> and I still haven't got one. But anyway, yeah, um, that's another great children's classic, you know, um, to read. It's a great story. So those are the five that I chose um, as favorite pets in books, and I'm sure there's many more. I just, you know, like I said, you don't think about it. Um, but anyway, those are what I chose. What are some favorite pets in books for you guys? Let me know in the comments below, and we will talk about it. Thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.